Okay, I'm showing you a setup here how we get up to the top of the screen enclosures um, here in Florida. I'm running a 1 foot by 16 foot Warner stage here. To span the pool. Got two 24 foot ladders. To the right is a 12 foot uh, 1 by 12 foot Warner stage. So we're going to go on out here and uh, our ladders are set them right down in the center. Of course, I'd like a wider uh, stage. Haha, <laughs> 20 inch eventually. I'm going to have a 20 inch wide one. So we're going up this ladder here. I'm going to show you what it looks like up top here. Uh, this is 300 pound rated uh, fiberglass ladder, so I'm pretty secure. Nice and stable. What I'm doing there is I'm I'm tying in every one of these uh, two by two aluminum beams. I'm I'm putting a stainless three or three or five, uh, sorry three or four stainless, and uh, locking this frame in for the high wind events we have here. I'll take a look at the screen that's already done. Uh, last hurricane we had here a few months ago. It took out this two, uh, two bottom right, bottom number one and two at the lower. I replaced those, but typically what you want to do with these screen enclosures is, is start at the top and work your way down one through three. Uh, I'm having to work on out toward the lake here, so it's a little more difficult for me because I'm going to have to put a ladder at the end of this framework to be able to pull her tight and put the screen spline in. Here you can see this screen spline's already been taken out. Sometimes you have to put some WD-40 with silicone in it if, if you can't get the spline out. Uh, these six pieces are all done. Okay, nice and tight. We're coming across here, number seven. These are seven by seven foot. Uh, there's nine of them on each side, so we've got more work cut out, especially with that uh, drip edge, aluminum drip edge at the top there to keep water out uh, from, from any, you know, connection points. It leads the water away. And here I am, I'm on uh, this last panel. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull tight what I can right here. I'm going to pull as close as I can to the ladder. I'm going to make a ladder move. I'm going to come on over here and I'll finish up this corner and I'll get rolling on the next section. Here's what it looks like coming back down. It's pretty cool. You, you know, you get used to it. I'm used to working on uh, tall roofs and so forth. And honestly, I wish the pool was a little bit deeper. If I were to fall in there, at least I wouldn't hit the bottom, right? Okay, so here we go. There's the whirlpool in that. But I'm gonna work my way across. We'll step off here. There you have it. There's another view for you. Down low, up high. Uh, yeah. Also, these uh, these are 250 pound rated uh, stages. So I'm at 240 plus the ladder, so I'm right at the limit. So we'll get some flex when I'm spanning, you know, 14 foot, say I only have a foot on each end. Uh, so I'm, I'm definitely gonna get a, a 20 inch wide, 16 uh, foot long, 500 pound rating. So that way two people can work on, uh, you know, and uh, not, not have any flex when we, we cross, cross the open span. Okay. Here we are after a ladder move. Um, put the stages together so so that I could grab hold of this fiberglass ladder. What I did is I dropped it down into the water. Okay, because I wasn't going to decrease the ladder long, rung length. And uh, I'm on the other side of that vertical two by two. It's a mini beam. The main, main beams 
traverse left and right. Uh, the small two by twos, they, they go in between the beams and go on up here. As you can see it's a pretty day. It's around 85 degrees, but not too bad. So we're in uh, February here, so you definitely don't want to be doing this. I wouldn't want to be doing it in August. But what we got here, I'm at, the, at my corner, right? So I'm gonna I'm gonna pull this tight. We can use you can use clips if you want or with experience you can pull it tight and uh, that's the kind of roller system I use that's the double end this single end but I pull them tight put a groove right in there I can't do it with the camera in my hand but anyways you pull pull tight I want to stretch that rubber just a little bit and then use the concave part of this roller you'll roll it right on in tighten it up with the thin narrow part and just keep proceeding and keeping it tight all the way through okay here's a better view for you anyways I got the right here this clip I'm clipped in on the opposite side of this 2x2 two two beam yeah putting a groove a slight groove you can't it can't be too tight or you'll just cut the screen so I've got a little groove in there right pull this tight you know stretch it a little bit so it goes down in the groove we're gonna come from the from the outside like that take that double concave wheel just come right on down like that okay don't push too hard because you can cut the screen and guess what you can start over from scratch and I'm going to take the, the narrow part of the wheel, just push down in, <clears throat> nice and tight. Go ahead, move on down, repeat. I'm going to pull, pull crossover on this side. And I'm going to work my way to the corner. There's uh, 18 of these, 7 by 7 foot. So have, have a great day. I hope it helps somebody. Thanks. So here we got a eight foot stage going across this uh, six foot wide six by six whirlpool. That's taking a we're taking a 24 footer up to about the midway point. I'll take a walk on up. This is uh like I said before 24 foot uh, 300 pound rated uh, fiberglass, nice and stiff. I want to give you an idea what it looks like from up here got six panels tore out there you have it you're better off <laughs> obviously if you can reach it pull the spines out I'm using a little bit of WD-40 with silicone just to help release those rubber splines and I use a modified uh, flathead old flathead screwdriver that I narrowed the point with a grinder so that I can get underneath underneath these here grooves these ones here I see there's one in the middle I can pull that up when I'm over there I'll, I'll pull that up and tighten that okay but yeah that's what we got here I'm up at the peak and uh, it's going pretty good so uh, I'm using a Pfeiffer uh, screening it's about 180 bucks for uh, 100 foot 84 inch wide by 100 foot that Lowe's or Home Depot so okay thanks have a good one